Welcome to another episode of The Workshop. And this is one that I've seen a lot of times. The post usually starts a little something like this. So it's summer and I'm in this tiny room on my gaming computer and it is so freaking hot when I'm playing games. I think it must be because my GPU is running at like 80 degrees, my CPU is at like 60, 70 degrees, they got all these fans, they're kicking out all this heat and I'm with you so far. So my plan is I'm gonna water cool the system to lower the temperatures and make it so that my room is a little cooler and more bearable. Well, hold on a minute. I may not be a uh, physicologist, but I remember a little something from my grade 10 science class. We did a unit on like the law of conservation of energy that would suggest that that approach may not work to cool down the room, but of course, we're gonna investigate it today, but before you watch the rest of the video, vote in the straw poll below the video. Let me know. Do you think water cooling the CPU and GPU, cooling them down, will make the room the PC's operating in cooler or not? Intel has brought DDR4 to the mainstream with their Core i7-6700K and Core i5-6600K processors. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Okay, so here's how we're going to conduct the test. Inside the sanity closet here, I've got a sick gaming PC, Core i7 Extreme Edition, 128 gigs of RAM, GTX 980 Ti, you know, the Woiks. This is a Type-K thermal probe running into the room with my thermometer that will be telling us the ambient temperature inside the room. So right now, we're just getting uh, a baseline reading to give us some idea of what we're gonna be working with. But next, we're gonna go in and actually set up the machine to run inside this room. Okay, so for our air-cooled scenario, I'll be using a Noctua NHD9L heatsink, and then I'll have a modest overclock, just one of the, the one-button BIOS overclocks on the CPU. And then for my video card, I'll be using a high-end GTX 980 Ti. In this case, it's an AMP edition from Zotac. I'll be running Unigen Heaven on loop, and then I'll be coming back periodically, probably about every half an hour, to log the temperature, the ambient temperature inside the room, waiting for that rising temperature to flatten out when it's reached equilibrium with the climate-controlled office that surrounds this tiny little closet. <laughs> Okay, so we've run into a bit of a challenge in that I don't think we're going to be able to just wait for it to reach equilibrium because here we are three and a quarter hours on the nose later and we are all the way up to 28.2 degrees without any sign of that slowing down. So what we're going to have to do is check on our results and then do a follow-up tomorrow where we take the same space at the same starting temperature and then see where it is that we end up after three and a quarter hours. Let's call it 72 degrees. We'll use that CPU temperature. As long as we use the same one, then we're in pretty good shape here. And our GPU diode is at a frosty 64 degrees. So that's with heaven having been running all this time. The room is noticeably warmer, but of course we expected that. So all that's left to do now is swap out these components. So we're going to go ahead and change that NHD9L out for an H100i. That's a dual 120 millimeter liquid cooler, so we should be able to get those CPU temps down significantly. And we're changing out our Zotac air-cooled card for one of these slick ass bad boys. This is that MSI Corsair Collaborative Hydro GTX 980 Ti. So with that out of the way, we can wait for the room to reach our starting temperature again, and then restart the benchmarks. There we go, friends. We are officially ready to rock. So I'm gonna go in there and start it. We're gonna run the test for three and one quarter hours and see where it is that we end up. I mean, I already have a pretty good idea of where we're gonna end up, but uh, hey, I could be wrong. 
So it's important to recreate the same scenario again as before. So we're gonna run those same benchmarks, the system stability test. We're gonna leave the light on in the room. I'm gonna take my laptop out of here and uh, let's see how she does. Timer starts now. Wow, I actually couldn't have written this story better myself. 27 point, not 28.0. So after three hours and 15 minutes on the nose, the room heated up the same amount in spite of the fact that our GPU temperatures are a frosty 53 degrees. So let's pull that baby up right there. 53 degrees on the GPU with the CPU sitting down at 40, 50 degrees. So both of them are cooler running but the amount of heat that they generate that needs to be dissipated into the room is identical because the thermal energy that's being output is not actually necessarily related to the temperature at which something is running. So there you have it guys. If the objective is to cool down the room, then the only sane way to achieve that would be to water cool all the computers in the room and put a radiator on the roof of your building. Simple, powerful, beautiful. That's a really old slogan. Squarespace. They offer 24 seven support via live chat and email and offer their service starting at only eight bucks a month. So anyone can build themselves a beautiful website using Squarespace. All of their gorgeous templates feature responsive design so your website will scale to look great on any device. I mean, I've never tried it on a watch, but if we're talking reasonable devices like your desktop computer, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, and every website comes with so many awesome features that are easy to use, including commerce. So you can actually sell things and create a store with any Squarespace template. And that's not to say that you have to create a store. You can make a blog, you can make a, a portfolio for you know a really professional job application. You can create just a, a simple, what's called a cover page. So that's just a beautiful one page online presence in just a few minutes. And you can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide that's after the first two weeks when you have your free trial to go, okay, yeah, I'm ready to do this and sign up for Squarespace. Make sure that you use offer code Linus to get 10% off your first purchase at the link in the video description. And if you buy the whole year at a time, Squarespace will actually throw in a free domain for you. So uh, don't hesitate to build it beautiful. Another old slogan, you should. That's actually the new one. It was probably hard to tell. It's different from the other ones. So thanks for watching guys. If you just liked this video, hit that dislike button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, and maybe even consider contributing by buying a cool shirt like this one, changing your Amazon bookmarks, one with our affiliate code, costs you guys nothing, takes just a minute, instructions are up there, or by simply joining up our community forum. You can answer people's questions, ask your own questions, even become a contributor, get a cool little badge, all that kind of good stuff. Now that you're done doing that, you're probably wondering, gee, what should I do next? Maybe check out this other video from us. I guarantee you it's awesome. My personal guarantee of satisfaction. If you don't like it, then there's nothing I can do about that though. <laughs>